we've got an IMAF superstar in Cam Zaxpo in the next bout on the card. If you guys don't know Cam Expo, you will shortly. This guy is just so fun to watch. You know, you blink, you miss it. He's so creative in there. He's like watching something out of the river dance. You know, you don't know what moves he's going to do, you know. So he's very exciting to watch. And uh, he's in with a tough opponent, you know, with Radislav Mitev. He comes from a very good, strong camp with the Bulgarians. He's here, he's going to be game. And that's one fight you're going to want, not want to miss. Ladies and gentlemen, now moving on to our next contest. Please welcome the first fighter into the cage, Radosti Mite! Ladies and gentlemen, good evening from London. If you haven't seen these guys on the walkout before, you're in for a real treat. Bulgaria in the house tonight. It's the Spartacus fight team. Here, represented by Radostin Mitev. And this guy is a textbook tough wrestler, first and foremost, team. As we can see from the elaborate entrance, a really tough Bulgarian fighter, extensive top control position. Watch for that in this fight. Always looking for the TKO win on the ground. Their elbows and heavy punches from the top of his position. And this guy, Dean, really confident in his grappling as the ultimate equalizer. Confident in being able to go out there and pose questions to guys that they simply will not be able to answer. So tough, so durable, but so collected in being able to implement that game plan. It's one thing to be able to cook up a game plan. It's really another thing to be able to execute it every single time. Best described as cerebral assassin. You never know what's going on in his mind, but you know there's lots of MMA knowledge battling around in there, and you don't want to be in front of him to find out what he does know. I'm telling you, if you haven't seen this team fight before, they've got a lot of really great athletes. It's a bunch of train killers over there, and this guy will take you down and put you into the hurt locker so deep, you'll be begging to escape. And he's making his way through our fighter's prep point here on the tail of an absolutely bombastic dynamic entrance, Spartacus Fight Club has arrived. And your second fighter to enter the cage, please welcome Cam's Shin Panther Epo. Yeah. Here we go. And here is Cam's Epo. High level. IMAF competitor now making his way to the professional ranks here at the Rise of Champions. Undefeated, got the edge and experience as well. And Dean, lots to say about what this guy can do. Cam Expo brings a massively impressive striking game to the table. Very confident in his stand up, and you'll see that translate through his skills. He's actually a big tool because he uses that to sap the confidence and the confidence away from his opponent. Absolutely elusive and evasive on the feet. The type of fighter who can go out there and really take you out of the game plan, which to me makes it very interesting given the fact that his team and Spartacus is so confident in Radistein is able to implement their game plan. So it's really going to be interesting to see just what Camps does to nullify that. He's great in the evasive movement of his footwork. He's able to counter well and get out of range. And that's going to be key to avoid the takedown, Steve. He can couple that with his brutal knees. What he'll do briefly is he'll sprawl from the takedowns, pop a knee in, and then circle up. Not bad on the wrestling department as well. We've seen him take guys down and really rinse them on the canvas. On the flip side, though, I think that given the pedigree of his opponent in the wrestling category, Cam's going to want to keep this one on the feet tonight, Dean, and use that reach advantage. Cam's expo, he's not shy on the ground, like we said, he's got a huge double leg, leg takedown. But most importantly, Chris, I'd like to say, he's very entertaining to watch, and he's got high level shoot boxing. Here he is, into the ring, 3 0, Cam's expo. Let's go back to Grant Waterman to make things official here at the main card tonight, here on the Rise of Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is in the Rise of Champions Lightweight Division. 
Introducing these two warriors, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He weighed in at 150 pounds. He is from Bulgaria and represents Spartacus Fight Team. He is Radostin Mitev. And crouching across the cage in the red corner, he went in at 154.6 pounds. He represents Team Titan. He is Kams the Shin Panther Echo. The referee in charge action is uh, Dan Overhead. Fighting out of the red corner, in this case, out of Team Titan, it's Cam's Expo. Taken on tonight, his opponent for the blue corner and Spartacus fight team, Radostin Mitev. Both fighters retreat back to their corners. The third man in the ring, the gentleman, Daniel Mobihidi. Chris Hooks on it with Dean Midhat here at commentary side. Rise of champions in London. And we are at it here tonight at the City Pavilion. Cam, some fancy footwork there. Baiting the kicks out, noticeably. He has the reach advantage, able to, oh, beautiful jump and switch knee there on the inside. I'm telling you, that kid's front leg snap kick is wild. Little Ali shuffle on the retreat, showing the bolo uppercut. Massive swing and a miss there from Mitev. He has to be careful about doing that because Cam's will counter, looking for the up elbow. And again with the knee, Mitev sense that could have hurt him, is shot him for the takedown. Often a fighter will do that when he's hurt. The way that Ekpo switches up like that at a moment's notice is absolutely mesmerizing. He's got the SPG shuffle down. Cam's Expo on the outside, looking for the up elbow and the knee again. And Mitev needs to stop dropping his head like that. He's going to run into something decisive. Boy, he just missed. That is inevitable in this fight, those knees from Cam's. Missile accuracy and power. And look at that. You think you got him figured out. Now think again, Ekpo there with a head inside single, driving, running the pipe, maintaining positional control here. Possible shrimp attempt from Radostin has been completely nullified. Mitev on the bottom, overhooking that head. He needs to think about letting go of that, just serve to burn his arms out and not advance his position. But Ekpo certainly being relentless there and maintaining control of that ankle, slides in trying to maneuver his left knee across to pin that leg and now look for Ekpo to go to work. But what he wouldn't want would be a guard recovery here, Dean. Cam's on the top, stuffing the left leg there of Mitev so he can't retain the guard. Happy to put in some body shots from the top. Let's see if he advances to a pass. Thought about using the can opener there to pry open the legs, but Ekpo certainly slowed down a little bit from this position and Radostin finding time to recover from that early assault. Mitev did a great job of standing up. And hey, big take down there from Cams. A testament to his athletic ability and excellent wrestling takedowns. It's like you're playing a video game with this kid. He just moves on command. But Radostin really trying to work that knee in and Ekpo very wary of that. I love how he hooks with his left arm that left leg there of Mitev on the bottom. It just stops him getting that knee in, getting that hook in, perhaps working for the butterfly hooks, enables him to pass really high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu there. And then Cam slides his knee back in to shut down the hips. Possible north-south attempt here, but Cam's opting to control the shoulder and the hip and try to keep more importantly, Radostin flat to the floor, Dean, that disallows his movement. Mitev here holding on for dear life doesn't want to take any of these damaging punches from the top. Cam's possibly looking to get cross body side control here and go to work on that arm, but keeping his weight down on his opponent, and that certainly is good awareness of maintaining the position to make sure you don't lose it, Dean. He's doing something brilliantly there. He's pushing his hips forward and switching to belly down. Oh, big knee on the inside to stop the sweep, but now the fight returns back to the feet up against the cage. Mitev, one underhook, looking for the knee on the outside, gets turned against the cage. 
And Rodestein absolutely relentless in this body control here of trying to get that body lock as tight as he can and then manipulate Ekpo off balance, destabilize him and then trip him down. But Ekpo's so athletic. Ekpo utilizing that wizard brilliantly. Looking for the pull down there. I'm not sure what he was going for, but he was needs to be careful about doing that and pulling his opponent on top of him. And looking there, possibly for the fireman's carry, and then he's put him out completely, Dean, off that slam. Incredible, what a sensational stoppage. Ekpo dumps him down and lays a mushroom cloud here in London at the Rise of Champions. What a dynamic finish from this young fighter. Continues his unbeaten streak here on The Rock. Massive takedown there from Cams. Dove him up there. What's interesting, when he hit the mat, Cams made sure that his elbow and his shoulder were close to his opponent. And when that slams you into the mat, you're going to slam into the shoulder and have all the weight of your opponent on top of you, which ultimately can put you unconscious. And Dean, that's a real feather in his cap to outgrapple the grappler in this case, particularly when he had such an advantage on the feet early. Mitev looking for the underhook. He had one unhook at one point, but he just couldn't secure the double unhooks to cinch the takedown. Cam's exposed, takedown defense just off the chart, and athletic ability as well. Cam's showing that the stronger, more athletic fighter can explode out of those positions and gain an advantageous position in the end. A huge win, continuing that big win streak here in London tonight. Victorious in the red corner from Team Titan. It's Camps Expo. Ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes and 14 seconds of the very first round, our referee Dan Moverhead, he calls a stop to the action by way of ground and pound, making your winner, Cam, the Shin Panther Expo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for a great runner up all the way from Bulgaria, Radoski Mitev. I am here with Cam's Ekpo. Cam's, you're now 4-0, another big win here tonight. You came out and showed off that elite movement-based striking, the SBG shuffle, if you will, that it's come to be known as, but then you took on the grappler at his own game. Um, I do MMA, so of course I'm ready for everything. I can strike, I can wrestle, I can go on the ground, but for sure I go 4-0, and I'm uh, always ready to learn. So it doesn't matter to finish too quick. Sometimes you have to learn, take your time, and uh, enjoy, enjoy the show. Certainly the crowd loving every minute of it, but it was that big slam that you hit that actually put him to the point of being able to set up that TKO with the hammer fist. You thought about the fireman's carry, but then that big slam was all she wrote. <laughs> uh, you know, I got a judo background. So I'm judo black belt, so of course I really love uh, every, uh, every big throw. I train a lot with my coach, uh, Alan Pozo, who is here from Fight City Gym. Uh, my coach, uh, Mike from uh, Titan, train very hard for the slow, defend against the cage. We're just getting ready for everything. Now, you made a big transition from competing in the amateur levels, IMAF now, all the way to a very successful and a very quick pro career. How has that amateur base made you more successful, clearly well on the way up right now? Well, um, I would like to say it's never an easy fight. It's not easy fight, I train hard every day. I'm very dedicated about my passion because it's only passion. And uh, yeah, about my, I got three in how much? I would like to say it's my first fight because I've really enjoyed it. I got very passionate for that. So it was like two years ago. And I'm professional and always look up for the next level. Working towards that next level, it's Cam Zakpo, ladies and gentlemen.
We get in there, so we get in there. 2016, I'm here. I'm the man. British, French, no problem. Let's do it. Get out of my face. Go. Ah.